Hi everyone, welcome back to Ajisha Academy and we are continuing with a series of MCQs and today we are going to discuss the MCQs related to logic gates. The very first question is which of the following gates are universal gates? A. NAND and NOR gates B. AND and OR gates C. XOR and XNOR gates D. NOR and XOR gate and the correct answer is A. NAND and NOR gates. Next question is, what is the number of possible input combinations in a truth table for three input variables? A. 6 B. 8 C. 3 and D. 12 and the correct answer is B. 8. Next question is, the output of OR gate is high when the inputs A, B and C are A. A equals to 0 B equals to 1 and C equals to 0 B. A equals to 1, B equals to 1 and C equals to 1. C, A equals to 0, B equals to 0 and C equals to 0. D, both A and B option and the correct answer is D that is both A and B options are correct. Next question is the output of a two input logic gate is low only when both the inputs have same value. The gate is A. NAND gate, B NOR gate, C XOR gate and D XNOR gate and the correct answer is C XOR gate. Next question is the output of a logic gate is low that is 0 when any of its input is high that is 1. The gate is A AND gate, B NAND gate, C OR gate and D NOR gate and the correct answer is D NOR gate. Next question is, the output of a two input AND gate is high, A, only if both the inputs are high, B, only if one input is high and other is low, C, only if both the inputs are low, and D, if at least one of the input is low. And the correct answer is A, that is, only if both the inputs are high. Next question is, the output of which two input gate is low only when both the inputs have different values. A. XOR gate. B. XNOR gate. C. NAND gate. And D. OR gate. And the correct answer is B. XNOR gate. Next question is the output of which two input gate is high when both the inputs are low. A. NOR gate. B. XNOR gate. C. NAND gate and D NOR, XNOR and NAND gate and the correct answer is D NOR, XNOR and NAND gates. Next question is for a two input AND gate the output is low A when both the inputs are low B when one input is low and the other is high C when at least one input is low and D all of these and the correct answer is D all of these. Which gate is mostly used for the implementation of half header and full header? A. NAND gate B. NOR gate C. XOR gate and D. XNOR gate and the correct answer is C. XOR gate. With this we complete our first set of MCQs related to logic gates. We will be continuing further with the MCQ series. Please stay connected for more updates and don't forget to like, share and subscribe our channel.